Listen up, Shadow Androids. The Eggman fleet is strong, but those black creatures are a formidable adversary. I must return to the base to devise a new plan. Shadow? Android? Am I an android too? So many. So many. Just, wow. That is a lot of things. That is a lot. Did you see that cutscene? There were a lot. You know what I'm talking about. There were a lot of those things. Shadow androids? No, what the crap are you talking about? I'm talking about all the Hitler references <laughs> that were in that cutscene. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Hello Cat. There's a cat in my recording studio, which is just a chair, a cell phone, a camera, and a television. But a recording studio, nonetheless. There's a cat. Would you like to be my. No? Come back. Ah! I have been rejected by a cat! Uh, I should probably be hell and greet you. Hello, and welcome back to another Splendid episode of Shadow Hedgehog Choose Your Own Adventure. In this episode, you have chosen two. <coughs> Need to catch my breath. <laughs> I said a lot. I saw. I said a lot at at first, but I needed not. Okay, taking these beetles. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Uh, I should probably go on my intro. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another Splendid first episode of Shadow the Hedgehog Choose Your Own Adventure. In this episode, you have chosen to get to the gold ring and get inside of Eggman's base. Now, is that so hard to say, yum yum? No, there's no need to be so stupid all the time. <sighs> I'm sorry for that. I got angry at myself and I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. So, there's paths. There's a good path and, a, and a, an evil path through this level. And you want to take the evil path first? Like, it, I'm going to show you which the shortest one is. The, the evil path is always the one that... Crap! Ugh! <sighs> If you're good, you can, ow. If you're good, you can skip. Actually, why don't I just, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, tact tactical suicide in this <laughs> Tactical suicide. That should be a army firm. Would you both die, please? But yeah, you want to take the, the dark path. The dark path always has the, the beetles. But you don't want to take the dark path every time. There's a bunch of intersections between the two. Crap, 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 crap! Well, I got the tactical suicide again. That's lame. You can only suicide once, and then you're dead. But it's okay. These, I, this gives me a chance to show the shadow androids. They shoot rocket fists. I don't even need to explain them because you could have seen the tutorial video if you cared. But I don't think you care. I'm out of rings. This is like I have this ring. This is not even a ring. This is just a handle. Yes, rings. Delicious, refreshing rings. Yay, y yay, my life. Yay. But, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of intersections between good and bad paths, and you want to take that- uh, Would you stop shooting? There's so many explosions right now! My god, I don't like anything ever. You hear me? Not a thing! Not a thing ever! Just gonna skip past all of you, you know, ow, you're hurting me, and you need to not do that. That's rude. That's impudent. Alright, let me check my, uh, let me check my notes here. Hold on a sec. Okay, you want to take the, the Mario pants here. Because uh, the Mario Pants are superior to the Dark Path. Because the Dark Path has a lot of waiting around. There's like elevator platforms. And just, there's a lot more, there's not a lot more enemies. But there's a lot more precision platforming involved. Well, that's not true either. Don't take them to the Dark Path. Just hear me out on this. The, the Pants are much faster than the, the Bad. Just, can you, can you sympathize with that? The Pants are faster than the Bad. Sounds like a Cornelius... That's not a uh, philosopher. Sounds like a Copernicus. <laughs> Copernicus? Sure, let's go with that. That sounds like a Copernicus quote. Quote: The pants are mightier than the the, the the not pants. What was I saying? I don't know. What I what I know. What I do know. I do know some things. And one of them is you can speed run tactics. <laughs> take down the level. Okay, you want to take the rails? Yeah, you want to take the rails here. Because that's the much, 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 Oh my god, he jumped a little bit. And it's a much safer path and much shorter path. The other path has a lot of platforming and stuff. Crap, 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 yeah! Oh, there was no danger. There was no danger of not getting that. Ah, well, ba ba da ba da 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 fire your gatling roink at you, no problem. <laughs> no! Eh, forget that. Forget the platform. No, Shadow! Sh forget about the slammy slam. Shadow. 
Shadow, I swear to God, I'll murder your fans. Shadow! Now we have to wait for the god dang... <laughs> we got it, though. We, we carried... The, we pulled through. We, we did it through trial, and we no, came out a better person for it. Actually, you didn't actually come out a better person for it. You're just... You're on the internet, so you're probably a douchebag. I'm just kidding. I love you. Will you kiss me? I'm sorry. It's too soon for a kiss. Um, handshake? High five? Perfect. Um, restraining order? Yeah, restraining order. Crap, not another one. Eggman detected. Approaching this direction. Shadow and Omega? Why, you traitors! You two are going to stop me? Move aside! Doctor, please, I need to know. Those androids, the ones that look like me, am I? Yes. What? You and Omega are my creations. But you betray me as you stand here before me. So now, I will destroy you both, turning you into scrap metal! Eggman, I will defeat you once and for all. <laughs> that was the dumbest cutscene. This is the dumbest storyline. I love how Shadow's just like, What? I could possibly be an android? And then he looks at Omega and he's like, Yeah, I'm probably an android. <laughs> My god. Egg Breaker! He is the, the boss you can fight the most in the mini boss you can fight the most in this game. And he has two stages. The first stage he's just gonna stay on that platform and shoot eye lasers at you. He's not really that big of a threat. And you can either use these these uh, balloons to shoot him out of space. You can't just shoot him from the ground or get to him from the ground at all. You gotta I guess you can do some fancy homing attack tricks with the shadow androids because they do kind of jump with you and kind of homing attack with you. So I bet you could trick that out in order to get up there sooner than you should, but it's really better just to grab one of these turrets and just pop them in the face over and over. See? No problem. Now he jumps down because you know, why not? He feels like Mario sometimes. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes. Now he's got two attacks. He's got those laser eyes and if you get close enough, hey, I'm over here. Yeah, he's gonna slam down and do a shockwave and it's scary and stuff. But you can just stand away and shoot him in the face and that's the end of it. You shot him in the face and somehow he's still alive, but that's okay. No one in the Sonic universe should die. That'd actually be really cool if like, in a main series game, like, like Sonic, you actually killed a character. Like, they killed Shadow, but he came back. Because why, why not? Or this could be an android, I don't know. Maybe. You're following that story. <laughs> the pieces are coming together. This ultimate life form they keep referring to is the Black Hedgehog, and he died, and I'm its copy. I must be the android Dr. Eggman created. Then it's clear what needs to be done. Doctor, you're going straight to the place you created me from. <laughs> <laughs> 